everyone, I'm Sal Henley and this time last year we were planning the Golden Bus Tour for our 50th year celebration but how times have changed. I'm still in my sister's house as you can tell with my nieces recording this on mobile phone. How are those virtual groups going? I hope they're going well and you're supporting each other in these times. I'm going to cook you a new recipe today. It's chicken pad CU. It's not that easy to say, but it's a delicious recipe. And I just need to get a couple of things from the fridge and I will be back. So here we go, that's what I found in the fridge. Now the recipe calls for 300 grams of butternut squash noodles. I couldn't get those yesterday. I don't have a spiralizer, but if you do at home, use that to maybe spiralize carrots or courgette. I'm just thinking of an alternative though, and I'm thinking, Use a peeler, you know, if you've got a swivel peeler, you can go back and forth and create nice ribbons like this. And then I'm thinking that if you just sort of lay them on the board, like so, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? This is the whole point about times like these, we have to adapt. And then I think I'm just gonna cut them into sort of taglatelli sized strips that will go through the stir fry and then they'll cook at the same time as the stir fry. So I'll do the rest of that later, but I'm going to use a bit of carrot and courgette, so we'll get rid of that. Get that off the board. There we go. Get there. Okay, then chicken. In the recipe it's eight thigh fillets. Fillets just mean the bones out, skins off. Um, I can again get those, so I've used four chicken breasts cut them up into bite-sized chunks and then I'm going to add two teaspoons of Chinese spice, spice powder. Now when you buy this make sure it hasn't got sort of wheat flour in the ingredients or oil because that won't be free so try and find one that's sort of pure Chinese spice, spice powder with nothing else in there. So that's two teaspoons, I like it a lot so I sort of did a little bit of heat there and you just give that a stir and what that does is create a nice little coating on it and then when we come to cook it and add an extra depth of flavour to the stir fry. So that's the chicken. And then we need the sauce. And in here I've just got a couple of tablespoons of oyster sauce. It's the thinner one rather than the thicker one. They generally are free, which is great. Then I'm going to add in uh, two teaspoons of sweetener. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to at all. But the difference between this and a pad thai is generally a little bit sweeter, less spicy and a bit more soy sauce. And talking on that, here we go, we've got dark soy sauce. So I'm just going to put two tablespoons in there. But if you've got light soy sauce, use that or the reduced salt one. That will be perfect. And then for a bit of acidity, we're going to add a bit of white wine vinegar. That's one tablespoon. And then, let me just slam that down. <laughs> we have uh, 100 mils of water. Give that a good stir. And then that is the sauce for the stir fry. When you're doing stir fries, it's just great to have everything prepared. So when you've got the pan heating up, you are ready to go. So on that note, let's go. So I'm getting my pan really nice and hot. If you've got a non-stick wok, that works really well. But again, I'm using my trusty saute pan. So I'm just gonna spray that. And you can see the steam that's coming off. That's how high you want the heat. And then I'm just going to add in that chicken that's got the Chinese spice, spice powder on it. And again, just spread that out. And what you want to do is, we're obviously going to stir fry everything, but just leave it for a few seconds to actually brown, because the more you brown things, the more taste goes into the final dish. This is going to take about, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes until the chicken is cooked through. So just occasionally stir it and keep coming back to it. I'm just going to go and have a cup of tea. Okay, so the chicken is now cooked. Just pull a piece apart and just make sure it's white inside. And I'm just going to put it in a bowl and then I'm going to keep that warm. When you're doing stir fries, it's really good to cook the protein first and get that cooked really well. And then put that in, keep warm into a low oven with a bit of foil. I'll do that in a minute. And then this is the stir fry veg and I've just done a bit more courgette and carrot in there to substitute for the 300 grams of butternut squash noodles. And again, you don't need any more low calorie cooking spray. There's plenty of uh, lovely juices in there from the chicken to make that stir fry. And this you just want to keep stirring until it's cooked. It'll probably take about five minutes, but just keep an eye on it a bit more than the chicken and we'll be good to go. Okay, so the stir fry veg are looking good now. They've all sort of wilted down. So that took about four or five minutes. Depends on your hob and how high it is. And we're just going to put that in a bowl. 
So you'll see that we're probably not doing it how you normally cook a stir fry, whereas you add in the protein and the vegetables all together. What happens then is you tend to get overcooked food, like the chicken will be more overcooked than the veg, and it won't taste delicious. This is the best way to do it. So I'm going to put a bit of foil over that. And again, we're going to put that in the oven to keep warm. Now we're going to get on with the eggs and the noodles. Oh, this will make you laugh. So I only have one egg left, and I went to go and get more eggs, and I could only get duck eggs. So this will be really lovely and rich, I'm sure. And maybe they're quite big, so it might be the equivalent of two eggs. Oh, look at that, bad boy. Just going to show you that. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? There. Have a look. What do you think of that? It's big, isn't it? There are people behind the camera, but <laughs> they're just not saying anything, which is so funny. Yes, Sal. Yes, yes Sal. <laughs> that is good. It's massive. Yeah, it's massive. Okay, let's get the egg in. So we're just going to froth that up. I haven't done it really well. I mean, just bung it in. That's all you need to do. Let's put that in. So we're going to scramble that. Now, when you're doing that, just let it settle for like two or three seconds and move it around. So you sort of do get bigger chunks like that. There we go, and it sort of semi forms an omelette. Then take some rice noodles. Uh, this is 225 grams of dried rice noodles, so I've already cooked those, drained them, and cooled them under cold running water. Okay, and then you add in the sauce that we made as well. It looks like a lot of sauce, but don't be fooled, it will all get pretty much absorbed into those lovely noodles. So you can see we've got big pieces of egg in there. Look at that. Can you see it? Ooh, yeah. yeah. So that's what you want. And we're just going to keep moving that around gently to just bring that up to temperature. In fact, if it just caramelizes slightly, that really helps um, with extra taste. I'm always about caramelizing things, um, and that's the natural sugars in the noodles that will create a delicious little sauce. So might take a little bit of a while, but just keep gently moving it around. Now, of course, if you couldn't find the flat noodles, and do use the dried ones, otherwise it won't be free uh, for your food optimizing plan, you could use other dried noodles if you haven't got them. Uh, it's good to have flat ones, though, rather than the sort of what I call vermicelli ones, um, because they've got a bit more body to them for this recipe. So, that's sort of heated through. I'm going to continue to cook for maybe one or two minutes, and then we'll do a bit of assembly job. So come back to me in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna get the vegetables that we stir fry and kept warm out of the oven. I've already got the chicken. And these are the noodles. So you can see that they've sort of gone quite dry, but actually what's happened is all the lovely sauce has been absorbed into the noodles. So I'm gonna stir everything in. You could serve the chicken separately on top if you wanted to, but I'm all about luzzing it all in. I'm not sure that's a word. Anyway, uh, here's in my vocabulary. Give that a little stir. And look at that. How great is that? So that's easily going to serve four people. So we'll just do a little serving here. Might have this for my lunch, actually. What about it, crew? Do you want it for lunch? Oh, yeah, that yeah. sounds delicious. Okay. So that essentially is it. And then I would serve it with. A bit of soy sauce if you wanted a little extra sauce on there, quick drizzle. And uh, got some lime wedges, squeeze that over, and if you fancy it a little bit spicier, just add some chilli flakes. 